We're here to do fishing today. Bass fishing. Oh, 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 I love it. I love days like this when it starts to get a little cool in the fall. Got the overcast, maybe just a little bit of rain. Gets those fish excited. We got ourselves a nice calm day. Nine mile an hour wind. We're gonna put the old skater in the water. I'm here with Mike. Mike Owens of Central Texas. What's up guys? We're gonna do a little bass fishing on this water. I have very little experience out here. I used to fish Central Texas quite a bit, but I've been up in that North Texas game for a while. I need to get back to my roots down here, Mike. I need to get some done. Let's do it. He's familiar with this territory, so we're gonna learn, we're gonna cast, and we're gonna stick some Mondos, hopefully. So, let's get out on the water. It's been a minute since I've been on the water, y'all. So many great outdoor opportunities in the state of Texas and all over right now with uh, hunting season coming into effect. Most people say spring is their favorite time to fish, and May is awesome. It's probably my favorite, favorite month of all time, but just the fall in general, after the tides have turned. Come on, start up, old yummy. Oh, dad gummit. Left the dealio on the engine, though. That kind of rhymes. I went to let my engine down. Oh my gosh, there's a praying mantis on there. Oh, he's looking like he's gonna grab me. That might be a, a good sign. I'm just gonna have to lift you up. Oh, take that old dilby, dilby off there. There we go. Hadn't been on the water in a minute. Mike's gonna throw down. Oh, look. Get, yeah, give him a fist bump. Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, he's coming back. Didn't know mantises could swim like Dude, that. They That's... bite. They bite? Oh, they'll draw blood. You wanna test that theory? Nope. I just wanna throw a few times right here and see if there's anything down there. Dude, I think I'm gonna break this off. <laughs> Old Mondo. We got some deep fish out here, sitting in 17 foot. Oh, little toppy toppies. I would say today they're probably a little closer to shore, so. Bite daddy's worm. You going level? I'm just, I'm just seeing some really tasty. That should be. Oh, there he is. He's got it. Good one? No, no, I don't think so. It's a little one. Hey, ya! Uh, Joe Coat? Gone. He gone. It's just, it's just a warm up. Do a little color switch here to the El Natural. Very special. <laughs> special color here. That y'all have never seen before until Guggen Bates thing is money for clear waters. Those are bass. Look like a black. Oh, that was the old tugger right there. You got that fluke on? I, I want to throw some stuff under here. Dude, dangling right below you. Oh, that fluke looks tasty. Whoever invented that was probably pretty excited the first time they threw it in the water. Like, well, hi damn. That's black bass. Good catch, dude. Good, good spot. That was like a spot in stock. Mike. Little baby. Mike breaking the ice with a baby. Little baby unit. Oh, you, you gotta get in there deep, yeah. Mm, I don't know about that. We'll just let them go. I mean, trust me, when they're big enough, you really want to put your nose in there. It's just, it's a natural attraction. I know there was more than one in there. I saw the, I saw the little greenness. That was pretty, dude. Oh, I see one right there. I'm not kidding you. There's two, three. I got him. There's two more. There's two more. That's a big one. I know. There's two more under there. Gotta play him out. There he goes. There was another bigger one in there. That was pretty. So, I will tell you the story here in a second when I land this fish, y'all. That was pretty cool. 
Give me your face. Yes. Oh yeah. Chased it out. Back us up a little bit. Oh, y'all, that was awesome. So Mike just caught that one over here. And this is an area we, we were fishing a brush pile behind us and then we saw a couple come up and pop shad. And then I saw a silhouette up under there. I casted it under there. This one ate it and then there's another one in there too. Little weightless baits. Getting it done. Actually, that's a flick shake, but he is skinny. Missed a couple meals. The summer fall transition. We're having a little trouble out here. I thought they were just gonna be munching at the surface and we have seen some blow up. But even though we're in 30 feet of water right now, there's fish that are sitting just up under the dock. <laughs> redo that. Please Mike redo says that. redo that. You know how many times I do that in a video? Like every time. I just call it round one. It's like ding, ding, round one, you get three shots. Finesse fishing gear, uh, throwing the spinning rods, something that you can skip baits up under there. Bait caster is really hard to skip something, but if you use a, uh, See like that, see, Mike, Mike got it up under there. It's definitely more fish. Like he had one chase, chase his fluke out. Sometimes they group up under these floating docks, even though it's really deep water. Fluke, like what he's throwing, a weightless bait. You can throw like trick worms, finesse worms, sinkos. It's going totally weightless. You'd probably skip it to the moon back there if we got in close enough. You gotta get in the nooks. You gotta get in the crannies. That's where they like to live. And sometimes if you're in clear enough water, like here, you'll see them creeping around in there like little lions in the grass. You gotta give him a little lamb, or what do you call it? What's a plains animal? A gazelle. You gotta give him a little gazelle. They'll come out and chase it. Mike, you need help with that guy? Uh, you I got don't him. Think so. You're right. He is not sniff worthy, but he one day. Oh, oh. What? Surface activity. Are they, they are. You need to get that fluke in there, son. Right now they're a little more focused on small bait. Oh, got him at the surface. Yes, sir. That was pretty, Mike. They are up. They are, aren't they? They are up. See, I'm dangling down, but I think the deal is you got to go high. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna drop a little, uh, a little crank on them. Oh, they're gonna want this right in their face. Really? Got him. Came over the rock and he wanted it. Dude, he, I think he choked it. Yeah, I didn't see it when he came up. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's gone. This little crank. Oh, yeah, baby. Give him a little dance now. Give him a little dance. Oh, oh. almost a broken rod. Holy cow. These, these old deep mouthers get me nervous. There's your old September fish. You guys saw this the other day in my video, but ooh. They like that little series three in the late summer fall. Get you out of here in just a second, buddy. There you go. All right, a little, little bleeder. We'll let you back in the water. Classic rock pile crank. Crank a couple more casts. Seems like they're just, they're coming up. They're looking up. Oh, uh-huh, oh, uh-huh. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Go. Oh, just teethed it. Oh, I got one. Oh, mine came off. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I watched him just literally lick your, lick your cricket there. Better one. Mike's hooked. Oh boy, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Heck yeah, that's a fatty. It's a fatter one. It's been eaten. Nicely done. How small is mouth is? That's a healthy, healthy one. Okay, I'm going. Tiny jerks, tiny jerks on them. Oh, boil in front. Boil in front. I got me the old gill. Oh, see you, buddy. I mean, 
What an incredible fighter. Caught him a couple different ways. That last spot that we were at, there was a, a rock edge basically that, that came out. We were throwing on top of it and letting our lures come off into deep water and went into like 20 feet of water. And they were coming up and grabbing it. So we were trying to throw the worms down there through the Mondo and they just wouldn't eat it down there. It had to be up at the top. We would run probably 10 miles to another spot. we we'll try a little Mondo and if they want to come up, let them come up. Texas this time of year and a lot of other places too, it gets tough to fish because the fish can either be in 30 feet of water or at the surface and they move up and down like this and it's like you can't get in a consistent deal. But it's all good. We're having a good time and we've caught some good fish. So let's see if we can close it out with a mondo. We got a crack old, we got a crack old Miss Thunder here. Oh, come on, come on Thunder. We need old Thunder thighs. She's got that back meat. She's been sitting down there waiting on an old mondo worm to hit her in the face. Did you get that on film? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that guy came up from deep water. Hey, He's still to, fighting. Hey, we need to throw the fluke again. Oh, that was freaking nuts. That was an old Mondo, but uh, on that Mondo where I was swimming it, and this color, this uh, El Natural, kind of has like a shad bluegill, and he, that tail kicking, he thought it was a shad or bluegill or something. He chased it up, and I dropped it, and he... That was a cool catch. But you gotta ha have some fishing experience to catch that one right there. You just gotta drop it right back in their grill. Let them slurp it. This could be the one. Monster explosion up shallow. What do we got, Mike? False alarm. Oh, Dude! Three and a half, maybe. That was a good fish, though. The way it hit it, I was like, that's a five. Up shallow, midday, using a white weightless fluke. It's crazy. That is crazy, dude. So Mike was busting them on the old, just plain old white. Plain old white, man. And that clear water. You wouldn't think they'd hit it, but they just, they were slurping it. Just like a top water bite. It was actually kind of cool. I was a little jealous, actually. And then I got bit on just about Everything. Got bit on the Mondo worm, got bit on the crankbait, got bit on the old weightless or slightly weightless, weighted. Just had a lot of stuff going on. And that's what you should do this time of year. September, probably the worst month, I think, for bass fishing down here in the south. Transitions going on, water starts to change when it cools a little bit, the fishing can get tough. They're all over in depth, so be prepared to do some junk fishing. But guess what, y'all? Our day's not over. We're gonna go shoot some doves. Hopefully the weather holds off and have an adventurous outdoor day. So y'all know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe right here to the channel so you don't miss a single bite. Hit the ding dongs for all the notifications and we'll be seeing you on the next adventure. Maybe it's a hunt. Maybe it's a fish trip. I don't know. Subscribe. Stay tuned. We'll see you.